Today we are going to read about interrelationship among the various aspects of health, population and environment. You can see the diagram we have already discussed about the interrelationship among health, population and environment. Today we will read how um, the various aspects are related to health, environment and population. We read about the various aspects like physical aspects, biological aspects, sociocultural aspects, political aspects, psychological aspects, economical aspects, science and technological aspects. So how these all aspects are related to health, population and environment. Today we are going to read about this. Okay, now let's go to next slide. Uh, relation of physical aspect to HPE. So how this physical aspect is related to health, population and environment. So you can think yourself taking time. Here I have included three main points. Here we already know that physical aspects are the non-living things which can be natural as well as man-made and examples also we have already discussed so how these physical aspects are related to health population and environment let's see the first point humans develop physical structures uh, inside physical structures there are health centers hospitals road bridges so these physical structures are developed by human beings for their comfort so there is a relation look you can see the highlighted uh, words humans and physical structure so there is interrelationship between population and physical aspect you can see population and physical aspect population means human beings physical aspect means health centers hospitals road bridges so human beings develop physical structures for their comfort this is the first relation and second is where there are uh, physical facilities there will be more population you can see there physical facilities it is highlighted and there will be more population wherever you have big roads wide roads many buildings offices health centers many people will be concentrated there so there will be more population so you can see the relationship between physical aspect and population in the same way due to overpopulation the environment and health are affected look here we have already discussed where there are more facilities there will be more population and wherever there is more population there will be more pollution and the health of people also will be affected so this third point is telling about that if there is overpopulation then the environment and health will be affected let's go to second one relation of biological aspect to hpe so here also i have uh, included some points so human depends on biological aspect for food maybe animal products and plant products so this is the relation between population and biological aspect all the human beings depend on biological aspect for food and animal product like we eat different types of vegetables fruits meat eggs they all we get from biological aspect in the same way according to climatic condition or soil type or any other factors the environmental products like plants and animal products found in different places can be different so this highlighted climatic conditions soil type these are the environmental factors according to those environmental factors this biological aspect biological production will be different if the climatic condition soil type is very good favorable there will be more production otherwise there can be less production so if we go to next slide we can see another point where there is more production of biological products what will happen there will be more population many people will uh, like to live there and there will be more population and there will be more economic prosperity and this will impact environment as well so in this way you can see the diagram as well first is biological aspect second population third environment it means this wherever there are more biological aspect you can see there 
uh, it will affect the population means there will be more population concentrated there and after there is more population overpopulation the environment also will be affected you can clearly see now let's go to next point if there is good production of agricultural and dairy products this agricultural and dairy products means they are under biological aspect so if there is good production of uh, these products human will get balanced diet and which will lead to good health so we can get good diet and our health will be better you can see the diagram this is the relationship between biological aspect and health now let's move on to next slide the third one is relation of socio-cultural aspect to health population and environment here also you can see the main points here how they are related some religious communities including hindus worship environment look here uh, the people of some religious communities they have faith on environment and environmental components they worship environment or natural components as as god you can get the example you can you can tell the example of people tree they worship people as the incarnation of lord vishnu and they worship rivers they worship different other components of the environment so there is a great relation of socio-cultural aspect to health population and environment in the same way positive socio-cultural attitudes and beliefs help to conserve environment which leads to good health of people so if we have the good socio-cultural attitude we will be motivated to conserve the environment and when the environment is conserved we will have good health so positive socio-cultural aspects like worshipping uh, people tree means to conserve it and when the environment is conserved our health will be better we also worship the uh, this uh, medicinal herb called tulsi and this is also a very important uh, medicinal herb and because of which the environment will be conserved and our health will be better some traditional practices they may be negative ones superstitions can have negative effect on environment and health of people so there are different traditional beliefs superstitious beliefs uh, which may have negative effect on environment as well as health you can think about some examples yourselves what can be the superstitions what can be the traditional practices which hamper the environment look at the traditional practices in the festivals like uh, drinking alcohol eating more eating more junk food smoking drug addiction in shivaratri and these these traditional practices will have ne negative effect on our health as well as environment in the same way the fourth one is relation of economic aspect to health population and environment so you can see where there is appropriate population size there will be good job opportunities if the population size is manageable and then there you can find good opportunities of job and it will lead to income and quality of life of people and in the same way if there is inappropriate population size Uh, the population size is more overpopulation is there then there may be the competition in job opportunities which leads to low income and low quality of life of people in the same way economically backwarded place cannot focus on environment conservation the people who are living in the economically backwarded people they don't have time to think about the environmental conservation rather they overuse the Uh, environmental resources uh, they cannot think about the environmental conservation rather they think about how to earn their livelihood how to manage the fooding housing and clothing now let's discuss to the next one that is relation of science and technological aspect to sp so due to scientific advancement Uh, there are different positive as well as negative effects in hpe 
so we can see the advancement nowadays in the sector of health communication uh, education and many other sectors so these advancements um, have got uh, positive effects as well as negative effects so due to the scientific advancement uh, if we see the positive effects in health sector we we have different types of machineries like x-ray machine ct scan machine and many other machines in the same way different types of medicines are uh, invented so they are also under scientific advancement in the same way for the conservation of environment also we use different science and technology we can use the communication mediums like radio tv internet uh, and many other communication mediums for awareness uh, raising programs related to environment conservation as well as population management so in the same way scientific advancement has negative effect as well you can see there uh, due to scientific advancement there is environmental degradation and our health also is affected you can uh, think about the examples of the negative effects of scientific advancement due to scientific advancement uh, different vehicles are increased different factories are increased because of which the pollution is increasing different machineries uh, release different types of uh, uh, greenhouse gases which, which, which will pollute the environment so because of scientific advancement there is environmental degradation we can have the um, this guns bombs and many other nuclear weapons because of these weapons uh, many people are dying they also contribute in the pollution so this is also the negative impact uh, if there is negative impact on the environment and our health also will be affected and there are many other uh, positive as well as negative effects of science and technology in our health uh, in population and environment which you can think yourself and write in points this can be asked in your uh, long question seven mark question so you have to uh, get as many points as you can um, positive effects as well as negative effects so now let's go to another slide relation of political aspect to SPE what is political aspect we have already discussed previously I have talk to you about the 4p uh, political system political condition plans and programs of the government policies and programs of the government so this political aspect has also the relation with health population and environment you can see here first point environment conservation depends on political system condition plans and policies of government and vice versa means so if the political system condition uh, is good and there is good plan policy and program of the government there will be in good environmental conservation otherwise uh, there may not be environmental conservation in the same way health promotion of people also depends on political system condition plans and policies of the government similarly the population control depends on same same things means uh, plans and policies of the government political system and political condition so if the political system condition is good and there is good policy of the government plan of the government program of the government then environment conservation is possible health promotion is possible and population control is possible otherwise it is not possible now last one relation of psychological aspect to health population and environment so what is psychological aspect we have already talked about uh, the way of thinking and the way of behaving two things are under psychological aspect so if there is positive attitude towards uh, environment population and health then there will be positive impact on all three areas means uh, positive impact on health population and environment 
but if the people have negative attitudes towards the environment population and health they will not be motivated to improve their health they will not be motivated to control the population and they will not be motivated to conserve the environment so the people having positive attitude and positive behavior can uh, improve their health try to control the population and try to conserve the environment whereas the people having negative attitude and behavior will not control will not try to control the population will not try to improve their health and they will not try to conserve the environment okay we have uh, discussed uh, the relationship of different aspects to health population and environment education i hope uh, you understood it uh, for today this month we will meet in next class thank you